Now this video is not going to be about something I usually talk about, but it is certainly related to uh, to men's issues, men's rights, men's movement, if you will. Now, uh, peripherally, it's related to uh, the Connecticut shooting, and uh, let me just say for the record, for reasons I won't go into here, I am a full supporter of the Second Amendment, and I support uh, gun ownership or the, the right to bear arms, but I'm not going to go into that here because that's not really what this is about. Um, this is really about uh, Sam Harris, the author. Many of you know him, those of you who are in the so-called atheist community. I did make a video a while back explaining how I am a, uh, I don't wear my atheism on my sleeves, atheist. I never talk about it because I don't find it particularly relevant. It's something I decided when I was five years old or so and just moved on. But I always enjoyed, well, a lot of his work, certainly his Sam Harris neuro neuroscience work, and his, uh, especially, especially his thoughts on free will and uh, determinism, which I find really to this day fascinating. But, um, given my sense of heightened awareness with regards to misandry in the media and writing and speaking and uh, wherever it might be detected, there is a, a, a patently obvious, it's very palpable, uh, sense of I believe, what I believe to be innate misandry in Sam Harris' writings. And I was reading his article uh, called The Riddle of the Gun, and I'm going to post a link to it. And I actually, I used to be active on his forums a long time ago. I decided to finally make a post after years because I just thought this this was just too off the wall. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. That I used to respect the guy, at least on some level, um, for, if nothing else, his writings on neuroscience and free will and determinism. And... I cannot think of a speech off the top of my head or a piece of writing or an article, a book, whatever, where Sam Harris doesn't talk about male rapists. I mean, he's, he seems obsessed with male rapists and women and uh, female victims, male murderers. I mean, let me just read off the article. You can read the article for yourself now. He, he does not support gun control. So I'm on the same page as him and as many other people for ver various reasons. Actually, I'm not going to go into it here. It's not relevant. But uh, just a couple of quotes right, off, right from the article. You can see it for yourself. Quote, a world without guns is one in which the most aggressive men can do more or less damage, th do more or less damage they want. It is a world in which a man with a knife can rape and murder a woman in the presence of a dozen witnesses, and none will find the courage to intervene. End quote. Quote, but when, when an armed man enters an office building, restaurant, or school for the purpose of murdering everyone in sight, things are going very ba badly already, end quote. Another quote, uh, quote, just imagine how a few men with box cutters would now be greeted by their fellow passengers at 30,000 feet, end quote. I mean, this article is replete with it. His earlier books are replete with it. Every article he's published, it's always men doing evil. If he, when he talks about Afghanistan, it's the poor, su subjugated, suppressed women. Not the 12-year-old boys uh, sent off to, to die and to be shot to death and blown to bits and pieces in a war. No, it's never about them. Now, I have my ideas as to why this is. Uh, I think human beings have, to a large degree, extremely compartmentalized minds. And it uh, seems like it's a glaringly obvious, uh, patently obvious and apparent to me that Sam Harris has such a compartmentalized mind. Uh, I haven't always agreed with him in the past, but this is something I just vehemently disagree with him e on, even though he's never explicitly stated. He's not saying men are bad, but every statement he makes along these lines implies it. And quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of it. Um, I'm even more disappointed because I think he does do amazing work in neuroscience and topics such as free will. So I don't really know what to make of it uh, anymore, make of him as a person. Now, I, I don't want to get personal, but I think he was raised by a single mother. Um, I think his father died, I believe, or something like that. And he has a wife and a daughter. So obviously right there. Um, he's and, and of course we have our biological and civilizational bias uh, against men. We don't like we don't like painting men as anything good unless uh, unless it's uh, well dying nobly for the sake of others perhaps and usually but we have no problem talking about how bad the men are 
when it comes to being rapists and murderers. Now, he did, of course, it misses the mark by a m million miles that there are female pedophiles, there are female uh, murderers, female rapists, and all sorts of bad females out there um, in more or less equal proportion to men. They just don't get punished in equal proportion. They don't get reported in equal proportion. It's also funny in this particular article how there women are women are mentioned not just as victims but they are also law enforcers, uh, armed women, armed law enforcement uh, w enforcers u using guns who happen to be female. Women, of course, are painted either as victims or as uh, well, not heroically, but as as as, as figures of goodness. So uh, this is just a video. Um, Ending, uh, which I am giving the title of my, The End of Faith in Sam Harris, which uh, is, of course, the title of his first book in late 2004 that was published. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very disappointing. I've, I've, I've never been a huge fan of uh, the, well, I don't even like the term militant atheism. I, I just, because, well, yeah, for lack of a better word, you know, like I said, atheist uh, without wearing on my sleeve. But I've always been a huge fan of his work on free will and ideas and that, and really interesting stuff. And I think more, more often than not, he's spot on with that and been inspired by that to a large degree, as well as my thoughts sometimes on these videos. But this is just, uh, I'm sure, that, and I made a post on the forum, like I said, I, I doubt it'll get read much. Um, oddly enough, I'm still an administrator there after years. Uh, well, I don't know how I got elected to that position. But those of you who are somehow involved in the skeptical community, if you want to call it that, uh, you know, I've you know I've always been a skeptic, but you know I I'm kind of you know herding cats. I've I've always been a loner as well. Um, you know I'm not. Uh, this channel exists unto itself. Um, I don't I don't affiliate with any organizations or groups, and so my thoughts are my own. The same thing with my atheism and and my thoughts on on such on related topics, but. It's really just, it's just so glaringly obvious that, that Sam Harris, for better or worse, is, uh, has some very, uses some very misandric language uh, in, his, uh, in his discourse. And it's, it's disturbing to me, uh, to say the least. I don't have much else to say about it, but uh, I, I don't know if I can continue reading him, if only because uh, I, I know I'm going to keep encountering these statements. And the more aware I became of misandry in society uh, and the, the state of affairs with regards to men, the more I sort of winced at uh, reading passages by him, where he makes statements such as, you know, the male rapist who does so and so, and the innocent woman, and, uh, you know, female genital mutilation, but not male genital mutilation, and so on and so forth. It never ends with him. So, uh, it's, I don't think he's going to change very much, uh, you know, and I don't think it's, uh, well, I, I don't see anything happening in that regard, but uh, this video is just an indication or a declaration that I hereby have lost faith in Sam Harris. Uh, you know, it's going to be in the future uh, very hard to filter out those kinds of statements, even if he does do some very interesting work in neuroscience and free will for me. But uh, yeah, I can't imagine this being very interesting to a lot of my subscribers, but sometimes I got to do some videos that are important to me, and I really need to get this off my chest. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching as always, and uh, I am planning next two or three weeks to be making a pretty big video on a very important topic. Hopefully, uh, the God's willing, I'll be able to um, get it done in time. So everyone take care and uh, all the best.